Hello dear students, good morning. In this video, I am going to explain a module which will print us the Fibonacci series. What is a Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series means the term and the sum of a term and its previous term. To, pr to print any series with the help of Fibonacci, first of all, we need to define two numbers. Here I am defining two numbers because I want to print Fibonacci series from starting 0 to n terms. Here that's why we need at least two numbers we have to define to print a series of numbers in the Fibonacci series. Right here I have defined n1, comma n2. n1 is equal to 0 and n2 is equal to 1. Now I want to print five terms in this Fibonacci series. What is the next term in this series? This last term and its preceding term sum of this last term and its preceding term that means 0 plus 1 1 and what is the next term 1 plus 1 2 what is the next term in this series 2 plus 1 3 right what is the next term in this series 3 plus 2 5 like this how many terms we you read in this fibonacci series you can print what are the number of terms in this series now 1 2 3 4 5 6 six number of terms I have printed in this Fibonacci series. For this we have to write the logic right. Right. For this I am using two variables n1 comma n2 and another count variable initialized with zero and I will use while loop to print the Fibonacci n number n terms in this Fibonacci series. Here what I will do count less than n terms. For this program I will take an input how many terms I have to print. If I want to print 5 terms in this Fibonacci series, I will take n terms as 5 and count variable as 0. Here immediately in the while loop what I will do, I will print the first term in this my Fibonacci series. What is the first term? n1. And immediately after this, I have to change the values. Now first 0, n1 in, in one place, n1 place 0 is there and in n2 place 1 is there. Now in the next step what I have to do? Next term should be n1 plus n2 that means 0 plus 1. Next term is what? n1 plus n2. Next term in my series is n1 plus n2 and this n2 will become n1 now. n2 is becoming n2 is we are making n2 as n1 and the n2 n2 as n1 plus n2 because we have to print every time we are printing n1 that's why to print the next term we are making n2 as n1 and n1 n1 as n2 and n2 as n1 plus n2 okay this is the logic first we are printing 0 here and in the immediately next step n1 is equal to n2 and n2 is equal to n1 plus n2 and we have to increase the count variable also because we have to continue this loop right count plus is equal to 1. This is the first step is completed and in the next step what is the count? Count is what? Count is 1. 1 less than 5. Yes or no 1 less than 5 it is true. Now again it will print what? It will print n1. What is there in place of n1 now? Print n1. n1 is now 1. Now in the next step n1 is equal to n2. What is n2? n1 is 1 and n2 is what? 0 plus 1. Now n1 is 1 and n2 is n1 plus n2. n2 is what? n1 is 1 and n2 is al already 1, 2. Okay now in the next step again count will be increased by 2. 2 is less than 5. It will print will print what n1 n1 is what 1 again n1 is 1 print n1 n1 is 1 and n and now it will change n1 is equal to n2 n2 is 2 and n2 is what n1 plus n2 2 plus 1 3 again count variable be increased by 1 count is 3 now 3 less than 5 yes it is true now it will print n1 print n1 n1 is what previous in the previous step n1 is 2 it is print 2. Now it will change. n1 is equal to n2. n1 is 3. n2 is what? n1 plus n2. 5. Count variable is increased by 4. 1. 4. Now 4. 
Now is 4 less than 5? Yes, it is true. It will print n1. What is n1 now? 3. Now n, it will change the values. n1 is equal to n2. n2 is 5 and n2 is equal to n1 plus n2. 5 plus 3, 8. It will increase the count variable. Because count plus is equal to 1 means every time it will increase. Now if you check the while, if, if it comes to the while loop, fine, count is fine, count variable is 5 and a number of terms is also 5. Is 5 less than 5? No, it is false. That's why it will terminate here. Our while loop will terminate here. What is the sequence it is printed, ma? What is the sequence it is printed? First, initially, at, at the starting it is printed 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Yes or no? How many terms are there in this series? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is how we are able to print the Fibonacci number n terms in the Fibonacci series. Now I will show you the program. This is how, this is a module. The module name is fibo.module.py. This module we have wrote in DPP practice. Right? First we have defined two numbers and a count variable. If n terms is less than 0, we cannot have any Fibonacci series. That means we have to enter a positive number. If n terms is equal to 1, what is the number, uh, what is the series? What is there? n is n1 only one one term is there in our series it will print n1 here else if n is greater than 1 this is a condition this is a uh, logic to find first what we are checking in the while loop a count should be less than n terms count we have already defined count variable as 0 every time our count variable will be increased by 1 every after every iteration we are increasing the count variable by 1 okay and we are changing n1 to n2 and n2 to n1 plus n2. This is the logic. And what is our intention? We have to import this module to another program. Okay, this is another Python file. File name is fibo.call. Here we are importing the module, fibo module to find the, this is already, we have written this code. And in this fibo module, we have a function called fib, right? How to call this function fib, fibo module name dot function name, fibo module dot fib of n terms means here we are giving the n terms. If I am giving here phi, it will take it phi and it will call this function with the help of this fibo dot module dot phi. Now we will try to execute this program. See what is the, what we are getting here. Here it is asking for number of terms. How many number of terms you want to? Please wait. I will. Now I am executing this. Yes, it is asking. Okay, now I, this is asking to print how many number of terms you need. I am entering 5. See, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. How many terms I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, we will execute the same program. This time it is asking to enter again how many terms. Here I will enter 10. I am entering 10 terms. See how many terms? 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 terms. How it is printing? It is printing every time we are printing n1. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 5, 13. 13 plus uh, 8, 21. 21 plus 13, 34. Like this, it is printing the Fibonacci series up to the whatever the number of terms we are expecting, it is giving. Okay, I hope you understood this, what is Fibonacci series and how to create a module and how to import that module into another Python file.
Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, please keep your comments. If you like my sessions, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.